YouTube fans, this is the real creepy doll man here. I'm back, but I decided to come back for a reason. This is to prove a point that a lot of people today said that the real creepy doll man is not truly 100% real. This is January the 21st of 2019. Time is now 12:51 a.m. It's after the bewitching hour in here in Louisville, Kentucky. When I mean after the bewitching hour, it is after the bewitching hour. I decided to come back and do this for all the fans. I have decided not to come back on right away because I wanted everybody to wait to see when I was going to come back on and make a surprise. Now, I'm going to bring up a statement. The real creepy doll man is not 100% a fake. And the proof of point is any ghost finders or ghost hunters out there wants to challenge the creepy doll man and put their money on the line, I'm well willing to let them come in to do the, ch the ordeal my challenge it is a test challenge we should do this for only the fans so anybody with a YouTube account that has a longer deal than I do can come in and do this challenge if you're real though if you're not a real ghost hunter then you shouldn't be doing it but if you want to test the real creepy doll man so be it now I brought a little visitor with me but before we get into saying it, everybody know this is Annabelle the Possessed Doll. I have brought her out here before many times with me. I decided to bring her back for this reason. Now I'm here to prove a point that I am the one and real, true, only, real creep, the real creepy doll man. There are a lot of imitators out in here and a lot of fakes. Now, when I say this is not a fake, this is not a hoax, and this is 100% real. The real creepy doll man didn't say that to lie. Hell, if you go to bed in here at night with the lights out, I don't think you would rest peacefully in here at night. So anybody wants to put their money on the line to take the real reality challenge with the real creepy doll man today. Well, let's get back to the point that a lot of people fake it. And by making a fake hoax of ghost sightings, Today, computer animation is really easy to get your hands on. If you got very expensive money and expensive taste, sorry about my tongue tied, uh, expensive money and expensive taste, you can actually buy a fancy computer way over $1,000, probably more than what I could afford. And if you got somebody that knows how to do it by making a special deal into making a fake ghost, you can do whatever you can these days. Or there's other ways, fake sound effects and all that. Or use a cheaper parlor trick like uh, animated dolls or vibrators or whatever to make, you know, whatever to make it look alive. I don't do that trick. I've never done that trick before and never will use that trick because the real creepy doll man stands for something that other people do not understand on YouTube. A lot of people do it on YouTube for one reason, one reason only, is to get a fast ordeal on subscribers. If you can fake it, then you're not really 100% real. The real creepy doll man stands real. He's not a fake. He's been doing this for a while. And he has less experience, but he knows what they are in very less time than other people would know probably about 20 or 30 years. Uh, my ordeal is I know what they are and they can actually deceive you and lie and say that they're ghosts and number one fact in lie and say they're haunted. They sometimes can be possessed like this one. Uh, now, this one was accidentally got at Tickle Pink years ago. I wanted a Raggedy Ann. Never did I find such a thing that could it be a spirit named Annabelle attached to a a Raggedy Ann. There are probably several out there, but the real Creepy Doll Man's is totally 100% different because the way the markings on the doll. This one was marked for reason on the doll. There is a marking above the eyebrow on this one side over here. Let me point to it right here. This is to prove that this is the real Creepy Doll Man's possessed doll. And another thing is there is a marking on the body as well. I noticed this when I bought the doll. What caught my eye is this little symbol. 
it looks more like a all-seeing eye and it is done on the belly button now this is done I think in marker or pin and it's not stitch and it's done very nicely as you can see what I'm showing you this is the real creepy doll man's real and haunted well I wouldn't say haunted this is actually his real possessed doll named Annabelle now everybody's Annabelle is different you see several people with a raggedy Ann named Annabelle but this one here has a year it goes by years not by size she is the oldest of them all 666 years old to be correct that's in demon years my friend not in human years she lived to be that old in demon years so what does that tell you now to make a, pre a matter of point that I made this challenge that everybody knows it's not some game I'm playing it is called take the real reality challenge with the real creepy doll man it is 100% still on what that means this challenge will go as planned for all the fans out there to know that the real creepy doll man is really going to show all the fans and I can say any ghost hunters or ghost finders want to get in this then take the real reality challenge but I have eight non-real challengers meaning there will only be eight non-real challengers ranging of age from nine all the way up because I'm doing an all ages thing and it could could it be dangerous it might and then again it may not but the real creepy doll man says when the real real challenges come there will be also eight real challenges as well so it'll be a total of 16 and when the real challenges come you have to be exactly 18 years of age or older and enter in at your own risk because the real creepy doll man cannot guarantee not his safety as well as your own it is something I don't joke about my friends it is something I have preached about that is actually the truth but take the real reality challenge with the real creepy doll man it still stands and there are no newcomers to do it once I get two real ch uh, two challengers we will film it but we will not do it as a live thing we will do it as a non live because we'll have to film it in the dark probably but we will have the cam on but whoever takes my challenge will take it serious because we're gonna do it for all the fans next thing is you've seen that I stopped the videos after January the 9th of 2019 that is true because I hadn't decided to come back till now I've been back and forth because of my health is an issue and I have been feeling bad from taking the new medicine I've been taking, which is not new because I took it before. And it's one of the medicines I took in the bad to, uh, tongue tie. It's one of the medicines I took in the past to control my bleeding and get the Crohn's under control. But this get back to the point that the real creepy doll man says, if you got the money, you can fake it. But the real creepy doll man stands for one thing and one thing only. He's to prove that he's 100% real. And that's some faker like other people to do it to get a fast ordeal on having a lot of subscribers. I may not be the best at what I do, but the real creepy doll man stands for 100% real. No bull crap. And I say it's one hell of a ride when you sleep in here when the light's out and there's not but a few lights. I've shown a couple of videos to prove there's no lights in here at dark when I've done it in the dark. It was a test, not some joke, and you see things flying around. Could it have been dust particles, or was it more than dust particles? Because a dust particle couldn't do a U, do like a U-turn. So tell me what could that be? Well, you want to take a challenge as I step up to take the real reality challenge today. This is a real creepy doll man. Say to all the fans, goodbye, and God bless you all.